What's going on guys? This is Parker with Backyard Barn Finds. We're actually in my parents' barn. We're going to go over a Pre-X 1969 Camaro. It's actually my first car and the first Camaro I ever owned. We'll go this way. Uh, we'll go over the VIN number for the car. And before we do that, um, we actually we actually created a, a, a guide where you can... Uh, it, it breaks down the Camaro codes. It actually breaks down the Mustang codes as well. Um, you can get it, download it on your phone uh, from the website backyardbarnfinds.com. Um, it's only nine dollars. Uh, my dad's storage fees are they're not cheap. So, um, if you want to support the channel, you can definitely do that. Also, give us a like, subscribe. Um, what I'll do here is open this for you. Now, this car has been sitting here since 2016. I bought this car off of uh, Craigslist while I was in shop class uh, when I was in. Uh, I believe it was 11th or 10th grade. Um, me and my dad actually worked on this car, restored this car. It's not perfect, it's not a show car. It still has the original engine. Uh, you can see that here. Uh, it's a 327 car. Um, it did come with the factory uh, AC. It didn't have the disc brakes, it has disc brakes now. Um, what's cool about this car is that the engine has never been removed. They actually had a recall in 1971 um, the motor mounts on these cars would split and uh, the car would just accelerate by itself or if you got into an accident uh, the motor mounts would shear off and uh, the motor would go right through the firewall. So I, I've bought and sold a lot of 69 Camaros. Maybe you can comment on this down in the comment section below. Um, this car has a band around the motor mount and the actual um, front clip that holds the motor to the front clip um, and it's the only one that I've ever seen that has that. Um, let me know if your Camaro has that down in the comments below. But the most important part on this car, like I said, uh, you can get our guide if you want to learn how to do this, but uh, the VIN number is right here. It's tough to see. Um, there is a 1243, which means that it, it is a V8 car. And we have to remember that, that on, a, on a Chevrolet, on the Camaro, you're, you're not going to find out what kind of motor you have by the VIN number. Now the Mustangs you can, that's why we put that in the, in the guide as well. Um, but what you have to do is you have to come down here and look at the Caltag. Now this Caltag being an early production Camaro from the Norwood assembly plant, it does not have an X code. So there is no X on this Caltag at all that tells you what motor came in this car. Um, what does happen though is it does have the, the 65 for the original Olympic gold color, it has the B for the black model top, and it also has the, uh, the 711 uh, for the black interior. Uh, now in December of 1968, um, that's when they switched over um, back to the X-Codes in, in the Norwood plants, and you can learn about that in the guide. You come this way for me, um, just, a, just a plain Jane Camaro, I put these in it just to kind of make it look cool. It's got the horseshoe shifter. I bought the wrong dash many years ago, so that's why it doesn't have a dash pad on it. Remember, there's different dashes for AC and non-AC cars. Um, we're going to get this car out of the barn. Uh, not this video, but in the future episode. Um, we're going to probably LS swap it, maybe put a CTS-V motor in it. Not 100% sure. Uh, again, if you guys want to let me know in the comments, uh, we'll kind of do it as a build together. I go to a lot of car shows, I look at a lot of Camaros, and there's one thing that I want to tell you guys, and that's about the rear spoiler. Now, this car being a 327 car, uh, it did not come with the rear spoiler. Uh, they were on Z28 cars, and this car also did not come with black racing stripes. That would have been a Z28 option only. But I do want to black out this back tail pan and that's an option that came on big block cars only, like a 396 X22 car or an X66 396 car also. Um, when, you, when you go to a car show and you want to tell how good of a restoration is on a Camaro in like 30 seconds, here's a quick way to do it. So if you look at your spoiler and you look at how much gap is on this side of the spoiler and how much gap is on this side of the spoiler, um, if the gaps are pretty much the same, that means that the person that put this car together or the, the car that you're looking at to buy uh, probably took their time with, with the rest of the car. You would be very, very surprised, and don't take my word for it. Go to car shows, look at the stuff yourself, you know. 
you'll see you'll see a car that's got like a two finger gap on this side and it only has like a like a one finger gap on this side and when i see something like that when i'm trying to buy a car that just kind of tells me that the owner really didn't take as much thought into restoring the camaro as somebody that actually took the time that did um, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever looked at stuff like that or maybe you have little tips and tricks with cars that you're trying to buy that we can present here on the channel as well um, overall this was my first car uh, this was uh, the car that I went to high school in um, this was the car that I used to take to high school parties and a lot of people are probably going to say, oh, your dad bought it for you. A lot of people are going to be like, how did you afford this car when you were 15 years old? And I'll answer that question for you in this episode. And first, we have to learn what these are. This is a promo. Um, this is actually a scale model of a car that you would buy from a Chevrolet dealership back in the day. Um, and I knew a gentleman that owned a dealership, and he never really gave these out. Um, and so I bought, I would say close to 500, 1,000 of them, um, and just sold them on eBay. Some are expensive, some are not of expensive. Um, these are like buying and selling cars just on a smaller scale. Um, and that's exactly what paid for the wheels, the paint, everything for this car to get assembled and retaken care of. Um, so I'd love to see what your guys' you know, first cars are, what you, what you drove in high school. I know I'm probably younger than most of the people that watch this channel. or. Even if you're a younger guy watching this channel, I mean, reach out to me, man. I mean, if you live in Pennsylvania, um, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely do something. Before you guys go here, um, I'll shut the hood here. In the last video or in a previous video, we talked about grills on uh, Camaros. And this is, this is what I meant by not painting the actual grill of the car. In other words, this car is gold with a black grill. It looks good, um, but from the factory, uh, this inner ring piece would have actually been painted the body color and that's not done on this car and something we're going to do in the future. Uh, this would have been silver or black, um, but, but this piece right here is something that I was talking about. So if you guys have any questions, want to learn about Camaros, uh, subscribe to the channel. Again, my name is Parker and this was Backyard Barn Finds.